Hey, we're back with episode three of Tyler Plays Fez. We're going to play some more Fez and we're going to continue talking about my favorite indie video games of all time. 25%. That's not bad. Remember when we left here? Did you stay and listen to the ambiance or, oh, or did you turn it off? If you turned it off, I'm disappointed. Oh man. Gotta get back into the groove of things. Okay, so where were we? Um, I think we left off at 2014 and I was raving about Shovel Knight. Deservedly so. I'm going to go back and talk about, uh, Owls creep me out. Come on. Ooh, it looks at me. Um, where's the door that I came out of? Is that it? I feel as though I missed something in there. Anyways, I want to I want to throw back to some games that I completely forgot, but they deserve to be mentioned. Uh, and they both came out in two thousand nine. First, Machinarium or Machinarium. Um, there we go. Not quite sure how to say the title, and I didn't play it in 2009. Like so many games, I played it in, well, I don't know, much later when the I... Oh... Uh, Okay, I got to use the things that I can't see, except in the flashes. They're not flipping as well, are they? Because that would be mean. I wish I could remember the name of the people who made the game. I think they made a, the game Somerset or Summeris? I'm not sure how to say it. Okay, wait, I need that lightning flash. Oh. Yeah. Behold, a warp gate. Pick a destination and press up to press up to warp. Not yet. Hey, I got some dust. Oh, I forgot that I can't jump into that those areas. There must be another block to jump on. Oh, yeah, I can't do that. Yeah. Um, can I make that jump? Yes, I can. I guess I haven't been in here before. It feels like I jumped over here, but... Ah, I hate going to new areas and then having to come back. I feel like once I get to the end here... Oh, you know what? That warp gate, though? I can come back to that area and probably get those. Gosh, another one? Oh, clipping issue. Okay, I got nine. I really don't want to leave this area yet. OK. 
can I go up here? I must be able to jump. I guess I don't have a key. Where are I gonna, where am I gonna jump from? I guess right there, is that where it was? And then, sure, sure. Nice. D are you kidding me? It it knocked me off. I didn't do that. It knocked me off. Rip. Gosh. Oh, hey. I was not expecting that. I'll take it. Come on. Damn. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so... I'm glad that that move is killing me. Was I on this one? I don't think so. Okay, can I make the jump? No, that must not be it. Maybe here? Okay, I'm gonna do wait again. Yeah. Yeah. I think. You gotta knock crows off of things. I think there's like four of them. I might have missed one. Treasure chest. Okay. So, Machinarium. Honestly, one of the best games ever. Came out in 2009. I was trying to think of uh, indie games that came out. And uh, I guess I'm just gonna... Yeah. I was trying to think of indie games that came out in 2009. And I couldn't. But, yeah, that's definitely one of them. See, waiting for the... Oh, the raindrops are hitting it. That's creative. I guess that's probably it. It is. It's nice when you can see that there's nothing left. I gotta use the map more. Another game that came out in 2009 uh, is my favorite Nintendo DS game of all time, which is Might and Magic Clash of Heroes. Probably can't just drop, huh? Yeah, I get it. Gotta make it tricky. So, there's another door. Maybe it's the lock? Yeah. Okay, well, where is that other door? It doesn't seem to be on there. Oh. I think I can just do that, and I can't go that way. Guess I might as well try this door over here. Did I say it already? Might and Magic Clash of Heroes. 
favorite DS game of all time. It's made by Capybara Games in Toronto, actually. Published by Ubisoft. It's one of the games that they made before they started custom like making their own IP, pretty much. And uh, it's great. It's one of the best puzzle games, honestly. And it just has a really great story too. Like it's really well done. Okay, I guess we're gonna check this door out. So, some other stuff that I forgot to mention. 2011, another uh, Cappy game collaboration with Super Brothers. The Sword and Sorcery EP. I really, there were things that I hated about it, like the whole Twitter integration. And the puzzles could have been better, I mean. This is a highly debated subject when it came out. I think the puzzles could have been better. Maybe that's just me. Am I gonna get that full one? Damn. I'm making progress. I mean... You know what? I'm going back, though. I think I'm going back. And going back. And going back. Yeah. Uh, I golded this one? Yeah. Gosh, it's going to be annoying to go back because I'm going to have to drop on these things, I guess. No, I wanted to go back and go up. Yes. Oh, I think... How do bombs work? Okay. Okay, I need to... I wonder if the bomb kills me. Nice! And another doorway. This whole big tree level or wherever I've gone to is nice. Another full one? Man, that almost feels like cheating. Wow. There's something I love about this game. You know how there's like no enemies? Things like that. That's neat. Okay, I've already done that. Right? There's another one? Oh no, it's the one way, yeah. Okay, we're making our way back. Making our way back town. I'm making my way back down. Walking fast, faces passing, I'm homebound. Do -do 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 -do. 
So where were we? 2011? You know what else came out in 2011? Another game that I probably didn't play right away, but I played on the iPad just like every other game that I'm talking about. Uh, Space Cam. Have you played Space Cam? Anybody out there? Amazing puzzle game. Like, like absolutely great game. Okay, so... There's a door that I didn't go in. No door? Oh, what's this? Doesn't look like I missed anything else. Except for that locked door. So where's this go? Oh. Hmm. Eh. Uh, let's go back. Or... Ah, oh, come on. I guess I'm back. Don't think I've found a key in a long time. Okay, we're not going to go in the house this time. We're going to go up. Oh, what the? Love it. Hey. Nowhere else, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so on to 2012 2012 I know I already talked about it but I forgot a game that I have to re-mention because they're from Toronto Spooky Squid Games in 2012 released They Bleed Pixels mm. Oh, excuse me. How do I get that chest? So yeah, Spooky Squid Games. They played Pixels 2012. Pretty good game. I, uh, I was a much bigger fan of this game that they were working on called Gorilla Gardening. People probably don't know what that is. But uh, it was this really cool game where you, like, fought the man, you know, the government, whatever, by, uh, by planting flowers. And uh, it was cool. It was really cool. But they never completed it. I guess they, they worked on it. They made a bunch of demos, but they never, uh, never finished. I guess... I guess they uh, canceled, canceled the project, which sucks. I almost want to steal it and make it. Who doesn't love gardening in the city, right? That's the whole idea behind guerrilla gardening is you're, you're like, like imagine a broken sidewalk stone and there's dirt showing. Somebody plants a flower there. That's guerrilla gardening. Uh, look at this crazy new place. I feel like the end of the game is, like, here or something. Am I crazy? No spoilers. I obviously don't remember. I don't even want to do this area. Where are we? 
Where did I come from? I'm going back. I know. Probably like, what the hell? I want to go back and do one of those new areas. Ugh, but that means... If I... What was this way? The tree? No. Okay. Okay. That was stupid. Maybe I just can go up here and get this one stone. Uh, there's a door. Okay, let's go check out that other door. So, while I'm talking about... Um... Hold on. This is a puzzle where you have to make the shapes. Yeah. I remember this. And it's tough. I guess we're going to that new area. Ah, oh, come on. Ah. There we go. Okay, a new area. So, 2013, another Toronto game that I forgot to mention. I mean, I liked it. It's definitely not one of my, like, favorites, but Guacamelee, Drinkbox Studios. They're based out of Toronto. Shout out to my Toronto homies. I guess we'll go down first. Why not? A new, new area. I wonder if it's, like, best to explore all the areas and then at least you can see them all on the map. You know what I'm saying? I wonder what this thing does. Is it just going to turn the whole thing? A time switch. Time switches can be wound up. Grab the handle and rotate. Then let go but hurry up before it winds back down. Oh, okay. Hey, I made the first one. Oh, that was not a good plan. Okay, I'm going to... I'm going to do it like that. I think I made it. Ah, oh, no. The last one flies off. So how do I... I guess I can just jump to there. Yeah. Okay. Moment of silence. Yes. Can I... Can I just jump over here? Yep. Gosh, is this going to take me somewhere new? I'm tired of going to new places. <laughs> Looks like there's a portal at the end of this, too. God.
how do you get up at the very end? Maybe, maybe if I hang on, it'll work. So that gets me up to there. Ugh. Oh, what am I doing? Grab, spin. Ah, uh, come on. Uh. Here we go again. Not sure how. Oh! Oh gosh, another tree. Oh. There we go. Although it looks like there's not going to be much for me to do up here. It's not going to let me. It's probably going to kill me. Nice. Nice hang on there, Gomez. Gomez and Morticia Adams. The Adamses. Oh, look at the owl. Oh. Wow. Another big cube. I think you can beat the game at 32 cubes and then there's a special ending. There's a special ending if you get all 64. I think that's how it works. So 2013, Guacamelee, Drinkbox Studios, shout out Toronto. You know what else came out in 2013 that I was a big fan of during its development? Uh, Monaco by Andy Schatz. You know what I'm talking about? Have I? No, okay. Key time, I think. Maybe. No, a map. Alright. What's my inventory? Ah, uh, this... Ah, uh, yeah. Something. Something about secrets. 13 of 32. And then... Oh, there's like Nega Cubes, maybe? I think it's something about Nega Cubes. I guess we should keep exploring this area. You know what? Let's... No, let's, uh... I think this is where we want to go. We're going back to that area, and we're going to go through one of those doors that I could open. You know what I'm talking about. If you don't, you will in a second. So, yeah. Monaco, what's mine is yours. It was this, like, multiplayer game where you, uh... I think I just want to go... Oh, actually. Can I make that jump? No. No. I don't know why I'm doing this. But I'm doing it. Just to unlock a new area. Oh, I like this guy. 
The vomiting waterfall. Okay, I'm sorry. I just wanted to unlock it. We're going back to the doors, and we're going to go and open a new area before we end episode three. So yeah, the other thing that came out in 2013 that needs to be mentioned. Oh, can I just drop? Hey. Is uh, the Spelunky, the remake of Spelunky came out in 2013 on Xbox Live Arcade. And I mean, I played that game a bunch. Never beat it, but it was a great game. I don't even think I made it back to 2014 in this episode. Probably because there was a lot of dead air. <laughs> um... But yeah, I think we're going to end the episode there. And then we'll continue at 2014, where we left off last time. <laughs> That's the end of episode three. Thanks for watching. See you next time. <laughs>